then the the main show opened on how we ended the last episode, which is Charlie Caruso in the ring, looking straight down the camera, saying to us that Orton versus Edge will be the greatest wrestling match ever. You mean? <laughs> that's not... That's not the official match that's, graphic. That's is it? the if you, that's up from uh, that is straight from WWE.com for podcast listeners. It is a no. photo of Edge and Randy Orton, and it says the greatest wrestling match ever. That is official artwork from WWE.com. That's the tagline for it. The tagline for the match. The tagline is it's the greatest wrestling match ever, which leads me to believe that Orton's just going to hit him with a chair at the start of the match to to screw over the fans from getting the greatest wrestling match ever. There's no fans there. <laughs> Viewers at home, then the clickety clacks of tweets. <laughs> Honestly, anyway. I on it. Look, I don't. I've seen that people are high on this, and yes, Edge is a good promo. Yes, Randy Orton is a good promo. They're doing really good promo work. But everything they said in the ring here to open the show was stuff that was said way better in the three month build from January to their WrestleMania blow off match. And that WrestleMania blow off match wasn't very good. It was overlong. It was indulgent. It just never ended. Loads of people, loads of people, Dave Meltzer, one of them, said it's amongst the worst WrestleMania matches ever. It is the second longest WrestleMania match ever, second only to a goddamn Iron Man match whose whole point is being long. It's ridiculous. Now, I think WWE have sort of got offended by that and pettily reacted by saying well you're gonna get it again and you know what it's gonna be the greatest wrestling match ever and that's how they're billing it charlie caruso really awkwardly looked into the directly down the lens that, that was directly at dave Meltzer, <laughs> saying no this is the best wrestling match ever it's not like <laughs> aw and new japan this is the best randy orton and edge and then they started this week with that as well and then the commentators said it every time they referred to the match and now that goddamn match graphic oh look at it it's hideous <laughs> the it's greatest it, wrestling match ever what it does is it sets impossible expectations Edge has wrestled once in nine years. Randy Orton is 80% boring. They're <laughs> not going to have the greatest wrestling match ever. So they go, it's, it's just going to make them look bad. It's going to make WWE look bad for even thinking it could come close to something like that. I hope it is the greatest wrestling match ever, but I don't think it will be. As I said, I think this is going to be Randy Orton doing some shenanigans to screw over the fans, get that, that heel heat. I don't because, like as you say, if the if they are going to try and just have a straight match, you've set yourself an impossible bar to get over. And the 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 comparison I always come back to is: Do you remember that GoldenEye game that came out on the PlayStation Two? It's called. It was like there was basically it was another GoldenEye game, but it wasn't a direct sequel to GoldenEye for the N sixty four. It just had the GoldenEye name. It was a James Bond shooter, right? And if it had just been, it was actually quite a good game. It was a pretty good. It's like the be It's basically the best James Bond multiplayer since Goldeneye. But because they called it Goldeneye, because they wanted to, you know, reap the benefits of being called Goldeneye, it just drew comparisons to Goldeneye, where they were like, I mean, yeah, it's good. It's not as good as Goldeneye though. Like, it's not as good as the other Goldeneye, but it's still pretty good. If it had just been James Bond shooter, it would have. It would have actually stood on its own two feet. So I, I think calling yourself the greatest, I, I, they, they, it can't possibly be a wrestling match. Otherwise, they're shooting themselves in the foot. Also, they can't compete against this. Oh wow! Did is is that on the that that's that, okay? That, I've that, got it now. I've yeah. got it. <laughs> that's what I made up myself. It's. Uh, do you want to explain it for podcast listeners? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It is a match graphic for Alicia Fox versus <laughs> Melina, uh, the Cameron's greatest match of all time, uh, which Steve Austin was very upset about. You know, we can play clips on this show, and we <laughs> yeah. get that little clip of Stone Cold I... reacting to yeah. uh, her her announcement. It's just. Yeah. It's just this. It's this moment. It's, it's uh, when he tries to speak, but he can't. Hold on, hold on. You carry on. I can get, oh. I'll get a gif of it. Okay. Here is the gif. <laughs> oh, he can't bring himself to tell her that Alicia Fox versus Melina wasn't worthy 
of calling your favourite match ever. On an and in fairness, of Raw. And in fairness, the matches that they had weren't terrible. It's just they're not the greatest matches ever. 